Hey everyone, uh, so in this video I'll be showing you how to create a decentralized website using Argo. In the past I've created um, tutorials on using GitHub Pages or Vercel to create a website, but those uh, live on either Vercel's or GitHub Pages servers, uh, whereas uh, using Argo you can deploy your website to a decentralized storage solution like uh, Arweave or Skynet. Um, so to get started you just need a GitHub account with some repository in there, could be a website, could be an app, um, and a MetaMask wallet. So to get started, you just want to continue with GitHub. Uh, so you'll want to enable now, which means connecting your MetaMask wallet uh, to uh, Argo. Now this isn't going to work at first because, um, so let's just go through this real quick, connect. Great, and so this isn't gonna work at first because you need to be uh, connected to the Matic testnet uh, network. So make sure that it's not the main net, it's the testnet, and I'll be uh, sharing all of these URLs uh, in the description below. Um, so let's go to MetaMask and custom RPC. So, right, so you, you're gonna add a custom RPC. Um, the network name, we'll call it Matic Test. Um, the uh, new RPC URL uh, is right here that you can just copy and paste, which is this one. And then the chain ID is right here, is it, is it one, and that's all you really need. So, save that, great. Now that we're connected, automatically we're good to go, so we can save those details. Now. Um, to deploy a website, uh, to deploy something on um, Arweave, you actually need a balance on Argo, but let's just go through this anyways. I'll deploy this uh, Next.js um, one. Actually, let's do Handshake Home. And I'll deploy it to Arweave. Um, the Handshake Home is a Next.js app, so make sure you're selecting the right framework, uh, and then you'll deploy it. And so this will fail because uh, I don't have a, um, any die in my MetaMask wallet for uh, Argo, but um, we'll go through that in a bit. So deploy in progress. Please refresh if you don't see some logs. Yes, I don't see any logs. Great, so payment failed due to insufficient balance. So what do we do with that? Well, let's go back to Argo. Um, my wallet, I need to increase my allowance. Uh, so you need a minimum of 20 DAI tokens, so um, I would personally put like 30 or 40, because uh, as soon as you dip below 20, it stops working. Um, so we can connect my uh, MetaMask again, and then it shares that I have zero DAI. So to get DAI, we gotta go through, we gotta first get Matic. Um, so uh, I'll share this URL as well. Um, you're gonna select the Matic token uh, Mumbai network, um, and then your account address is just going to be this thing right here. Just click it, paste that, submit. Uh, and this might fail a couple times. It might error out. Uh, it's kind of funky, but you just, you just got to do it a couple times until it works. Um, so um, for some reason, this time it worked the very first time I tried. Uh, and then we're going to go to the Argo faucet and connect my wallet again. Fresh or something. Great, so let's connect my wallet. Connecting to MetaMask. Yes, this one. Connect. And just for context, um, even though it's a Matic token, it's going to show up as uh, Ethereum. In uh, it's going to show up as Ethereum, but just know that it, it is in fact a Matic token. Um, so then, uh, from the Argo faucet, get token. Um, sure, confirm. Dun, dun, dun. Great, so I, I think we've already claimed it. Um, so let's go back to Argo and refresh this right here. Connect again. And now I have 80 die. So let's just put like 40 in there real quick. Approve. Sign. This is the part that tripped me up, uh, which is why this tutorial exists. Um, since you, there are a couple steps you need to go through before you can even deploy um, a website onto Arweave or Skynet using Argo. Great. Just check my allowance just in case. 40. 
Awesome. So now we can go back to deploying. So let's hit that deploy. Use GitHub again. Um, I'm going to do the handshake home, which is a Next.js app. Deploy. Now we're seeing some things that we didn't see before. This might take a minute. Oh, what happened there? Oh, well, uh, I guess because I've already previously deployed that, so um, let's just go to Handshake Home. Pretend like we waited a while and this stuff got deployed. Handshake Home. Um, once it has been uh, deployed, you can set up a custom domain, um, or just click right here, and you'll see a HNS domain and HNS subdomain. So for the HNS domain, it's literally just type in, um, for HNS domain, this means um, if you want to use the TLD alone. Uh, for HNS subdomain, this means if you want a subdomain. So like, uh, I'm going to be using my I am Johnny Wu handshake domain. Um, so here I would just literally type in I am Johnny Wu, and then I would select um, my handshake home. Um, yeah, I would, I would just select my site, um, add it, and then uh, update my records which will take you to name base. Oh yeah, the other thing you would need uh, in addition to MetaMask and a GitHub account is a name base account with your handshake name. Um, but we'll just confirm, it is to set the records. Uh, and let's see, we should be redirected. And that is literally it. Um, and just like that, uh, we should be good to go. Um, so I can now visit I am Johnny Wu, and it pulls up my website. Great. Uh, and just in case, let's do the HNS subdomain as well. So we'll go back to overview. I'll select a different one. I'll be using hack instead. Um, set up HNS subdomain. And so this one I'll call uh, hack it will be the subdomain, and it'll be on I am Johnny Wu. Uh, if you've seen my previous video on how to hack GitHub pages, then you'll kind of understand why it's called hack. Um, we'll add it, and then we'll just update the records uh, using the name based record assistant. So it just automatically set these DNS records. Give a sec. And that's literally it. Um, hack dot I am Johnny Wu. Open that. And here we go. So yeah, um, they made it really, really, really easy um, to just deploy a decentralized website. You can also use the exact same flow to deploy your website onto. Um, uh, Skynet instead as well. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, highly encourage you guys to check this out. Cool.